This is NBC5 News at 10 on Cozy. The residential structure fire burning in Central Point this afternoon has been contained and mopped up. Thank you for choosing NBC5 News at 10 on Cozy. I'm Andrea Boyd. NBC5's Lauren Preto was on scene earlier today checking out the smoke and helicopters. That's our top story tonight 10. On Tuesday afternoon, Jackson County Fire District 3 was alerted to a fast moving grass fire in the 4200 block of Grant Road in Central Point at the same time as a microburst thunderstorm. According to Fire Chief Mike Hussey, fire ignited in the field and then quickly spread to what he believes was a mobile home and greenhouses. He says the fire grew to around 15 acres due to the wind. With this incident being wind driven, it really emphasizes the need for people to be uh, vigilant and ready to go. It was right on the edge of the community and although there's green grass within our parks, just on the edge of it uh, is dry fuels. Fire Chief Hussey says two ODF helicopters were dropping water on the fire's edge while firefighters engaged in an aggressive attack. With the fire's proximity to other homes along with the weather conditions, quick response was needed and many agencies came to help. Rogue River, Ashland, Medford, Jacksonville, Fire District 3. It took a bunch of resources to get the head of the fire knocked down due to the wind. While the Central Point Police Department issued a level 2 be ready alert, it was soon after downgraded. The forward progression of the fire was stopped around 5 p.m. Fire Chief Hussey says luckily there were no injuries or fatalities. It's been a safe operation for both the community and our personnel. It's really hot out here, so now that we got it knocked down, we're starting cycling our responders in so they can get hydrated and get back to work. While Fire Chief Hussey says it's too early to establish a cause of the fire, Quaid Norrish, the homeowner whose structures were burnt in the fire, says he saw what went down. He released a statement to NBC5 that wrote in part, quote, Around 3.50 p.m. this afternoon, I was coming home from the Portland Hospital where my wife is currently having dialysis and blood transfusions from getting a positive test for E. coli. I arrived home to a windstorm on the property. I heard a loud explosion outside and went to check on it. Upon further inspection, a tree had collapsed from the strong winds in the valley and landed on the power lines causing a fire. I only had about one minute to grab the dogs from the trailer and rush them to the vehicle. We have lost everything due to this fire. Only the clothes left on my back. I'm a local small business owner and this is affecting my family dramatically." End quote. Wildfire can happen anywhere. Thanking our first responders, Lauren Preto, NBC5 News. There is currently a GoFundMe for him and his family. He says he lost everything, including some of his chickens who died in the fire. If you'd like to show your support by donating, you can go to the link on our website.